For light of wavelength 589 nanometers, calculate the critical angles for the following substances when surrounded by air. So the first substance is fused quartz, flint and glass, and zircon. And I actually, I don't know if it's pronounced zircon or zircon, uh, but we're going to call it zircon. So here again, just like in the past, we're going to start out with Snell's Law. N1 times the sine of theta1 is equal to N2 times the sine of theta2. And then we're going to define a few things. We're going to define N1 as the critical angle. So N1 times the sine of the critical angle is equal to N2 times the sine. And by definition, so let, let me go ahead and draw a picture. Uh, this, has to, this has to be a sine of 90. I'm going to draw a picture and show why. So we have a substance, let's say uh, a block of of uh, zircon, zircon, and there's a light inside of it, and it hits, it's going traveling this way, it hits here, and whenever it leaves, I'm going to change the color, whenever it leaves, it's going to have an index that's a little bit wider, so because uh, this N2, we'll call, or we're going to call air, is N2, is lower, 1.000293, than zircon, then, uh, which I think is 1.9 something off my head, then it's going to bow out away from the normal vector. As it continues to bow out away, the, the sharper and sharper this angle gets, it's going to continue to get sharper until eventually it's at a 90 degree vector with the angle of incidence. And once it hits that 90 degree angle, it's going to have total internal reflection. In other words, none of the light that hits the, uh, the surface is going to escape. So if it's not escaping, it's got to be coming, bouncing back in. So N2 is going to be times the sine of 90. The sine of 90 is equal to 1, so that gets dropped off. So then the critical angle is going to be, so theta C is going to equal N2 over N1, and this is the sine of the critical angle. And then we can go ahead and take the inverse sine of both sides. So the inverse sine of N2 over N1 is equal to the critical angle. Now remember, N2 is air, 1.000293. And N1 is going to be the, uh, the index of refraction for your material. And so you have a bunch of different materials. And so you just plug in the number. For example, the the uh, first material that it asks for is uh, is fused quartz, and fused quartz has an index of refraction of 1.458. So you just plug in 1.458 right there. The second material that it asks for is flint glass, and flint glass has an index of refraction of 1.66. And the third thing it asks for is the zircon. Zircon is 1.923. And so you just recycle this equation three times, plugging in three numbers, three different numbers for N1. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the about section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.